Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I have for you guys my top five favorite Nike basketball shoes to play in. This is mainly off of performance wise that I've used. Also looks, I guess, uh, obviously most of the Nike basketball shoes I own, I do like the looks of them. If not, I probably wouldn't buy them. In specific, this is more based off of the performance of the shoe and how I personally liked it. Uh, not the colorway of the shoe. The shoes I'm going to show you, the colorways are definitely cool. And a lot of you might not have seen them before. And before we get started, I do want to mention, uh, if you do enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. It does mean a lot and it does help out the channel. And like I always say, I do appreciate it because I really do. I definitely want to just keep producing videos for you guys and just share my love of shoes. Also, if you want to see fit picks and more shoes I currently own, definitely go check out the Instagram at Cam Goodwin 12 and I do have the same uh, kind of profile photo for both my YouTube and my Instagram so it is easier to make sure that they're me I just want to mention now my goal for the end of this year 2021 is to hopefully have a thousand subscribers I know that's a pretty big goal but really like prove to myself that I can do it kind of I guess and that I'm doing something right. So if you would subscribe, that would be awesome. If you don't enjoy the videos and you don't want to, that's not a problem at all. I do appreciate it, but of course, it's all up to you and what you think. To get into the first pair of shoes, uh, these are probably my favorite Nike basketball shoes to play in. And as you might've been able to tell from behind me, they are the KD6. Uh, in particular, this is the KD6 Texas. Here's a little few of them. By now, I should have my KD6 collection video out. So hopefully uh, you'll have already seen these pairs if you did watch that video. If not, I recommend it. Uh, as you can see behind me, I do have quite a few pairs and they are some of the crazier colorways that Nike did produce. But for me, these are just one of my favorite shoes to play in, uh, mainly because it is a low top. I do really like low top basketball shoes. I have weak ankles because I think I've sprained both my ankles, oh, I don't even know, at least six or seven times each. I always had an ankle brace on playing basketball, whether it was a sleeve, a tie up one, something. Uh, for some reason, low top shoes, I just like the most. For these, they have the Air Max unit in the back and the Nike Zoom as well. So it makes for an overall comfortable shoe and the lacing system and tongue on this, I love a lot because as you can see, it's kind of just stuck there. It's not like a normal Nike shoe where the tongue is kind of in the middle and it kind of moves around. This is kind of the same style as like a soccer cleat, I guess. So I really like these a lot. Getting into the next pair is, is definitely a second favorite of mine and they are the Kobe 9 Lows. Personally, I like the looks of the highs more. I honestly have never owned a pair of highs so I can't give my opinion on them. That I know of, everyone that has owned a pair that I know has loved them, but I've just had bad luck getting them. I really hope they do, I don't wanna say Protro, but like release them, I guess, to the public again. But here's a closer look at this pair. They're the Kobe 9 Low EM Easters. As you can see, it's a very crazy colorway. The Kobe's are just one of my favorites because of the grip on the bottom. As you can see, it's in the shape of a foot, hopefully. And I don't, again, it's a low top. I really like the ankle support on the back heel. It's really good. It just helps in general, keeping your foot kind of locked down in the shoe. I don't really have anything bad to say about these shoes at all. I love playing in these almost as much as the KD6s, but not quite as much. Kobe was definitely one of my favorite basketball players of all time, so of course, I do want to just say rest in peace. Keeping it with Kobe's, you know I had to include the Kobe 10 Elites. Again, a low top Nike basketball shoe. Uh, the reason I picked these is because even though they do kind of have the same shape and design of the Kobe 9, they don't at the same time. As you might be able to tell, the upper is a all fly knit, which I love the most. Uh, it provides that mold to your foot feeling and stays really tight on your feet if you like that feel of a tight shoe 
These are definitely the basketball shoes for you. Like the Nines, they do have the good ankle support. It's definitely a lot more solid in the heel than the Kobe Nines. I played in these quite a bit when I got them and I didn't have anything to complain about. Uh, here's the bottom of these. A little different, not as crazy of an outsole, but they do have that big gold X for the Kobe 10. This pair in particular is the, I think, Mamba Day colorway of the Nike ID with the purple and yellow and gold colors all throughout the shoe. So this is a very rare Kobe that a lot of people probably don't have and a lot of people won't probably ever have because they probably won't ever come out again. I won't say they won't just because Nike has been coming out with crazy shoes that no one you thought would ever come out. But now getting into a pair that you might not expect is the LeBron 10s. So for me, I know it's weird. They're not a low top. They're in between a mid and a high. Honestly, I don't want to say mid, but because of the like the tips of these, I think they could be considered. Here's a closer look at these. I don't think these have been shown on the channel yet. So these are the LeBron 10 Christmases. One of the best LeBron 10s in my opinion. As you can see, they have that all Air Max bubble unit on the bottom of the foot. So it gives you that cushiony feel the whole time you're wearing them. And it gives you that little extra bounce. I feel in these that you need in that little extra bit of height it can never hurt. But the details on this shoe are just crazy. And the overall feel is amazing. Again, the ankle support on these is awesome. Even though they're high top, I do enjoy playing in them. I don't mainly play in these ones, mainly play in the Volt colorway. As you can tell, these are a lot more worn. I guess it's now for the last pair I have to show you. And this is definitely my favorite sentimental wise. And it is the LeBron 11 Low. These are the China packs or the Chinas. Uh, as you can see, the details on these are absolutely crazy. And I just, it's a beautiful shoe, honestly with all the details in the colorway. Obviously they have that full Air Max unit as well. The only bad thing about these is they're kind of heavy for a Nike basketball shoe. Like when you compare these and the Kobe's, these are almost double as heavy like right now, I think. But it is a more bulky of a shoe. But again, it does have that good ankle support in the heel and in the sides as well. These are very sentimental to me because they were my first ever Nike basketball, like signature model shoe. I always wanted like Kobe's and LeBron's and everything, but I couldn't really afford them. So finally, I was on Nike for some reason and they had the orange pair on sale, which I still do own. So I will show you those in a future video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I hope to get out a full LeBron collection eventually for you guys. It just takes a lot of time filming everything because I have quite a few pairs of LeBron so I want to make sure it's good for you guys and not just poorly put together so that video will come out at some point I'm not sure when but that's definitely a goal for the future being that those were my first ever like big signature shoe from a Nike basketball athlete it just makes these so much more special but I wanted to show you this pair in particular just because of the colorway so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope I kind of gave you some insight on what I like to play in when it comes to basketball. No, they're, they were all mostly low tops, but for me, that's what I prefer mostly. Like I said, obviously Kobe 9 Elites and the LeBron 10s kind of make that exception. That's all I have for you guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.